uh, to be honest, I think I'll be fighting back tears because I, I honestly I never thought that I'd be out playing golf again. And you know, it's it's nice to be able to do it at a golf course like Royal Melbourne, where I've had probably my biggest biggest success as, as a golfer. You know, my fifth tournament as a pro, I finished third at the Heineken there, and you know, probably should have won it, but inexperience and the trees on the left side of 18 stopped me from winning. So. You know, that, that's just the way it is. But, you know, I'm excited to get there. And whether I make the cut or I don't make the cut, I really don't care. It's just going to be great to be out there in front of people again, playing golf and doing what I love doing. You know, it's, it's going to be a good gauge for me to see where all aspects of my game is, you know, fitness, strength, mentally, um, where all that's going to be at that time. I've, I've got no idea. But it's going to give me a good idea after that tournament of what I need to work on to, to get back to, you know, the level I was at before I got sick. And, you know, the good thing to come out of all this is I'm hitting it straighter. So I don't know why, there's no reason for it, but I tend to be hitting more fairways now than I did before. Well, yeah, there hasn't been a lot of positives that come out of it, but, you know, I'm alive, I'm kicking, I'm playing golf and, and just trying to, you know, live life as, as good as I can. You know, I think that was the, the kick that Australian golf needed was to to have another major winner. And, you know, it's been a long time since we've had one. And, you know, for Scotty to, to win the, the tournament that's eluded all Australian golfers for so long, I think really was, uh, was what everybody needed. And, you know, if you weren't following golf before that week, I think a lot more people got interested after seeing what he did. And, and it's going to be great to see him do, I'm calling it the Masters Tour, the green jacket tour that he's, he's going to do at the end of the year down here and you know to commit to all the events and and spend you know five weeks or whatever it's going to be down here playing in front of his home crowd i think is it's a you know you've got to commend him on on doing that and i think you know after doing after winning a major that you know guys can get a bit you know ahead of themselves but i think scotty understands you know how big this is for not just himself, but how big this is for Australia as a country and as a sporting nation. I think he understands it's it's pretty big and for him to come down and, and give up a lot of other lucrative things that he could be doing to, to spend time in Australia, I think is pretty massive. You know, people ask me all the time, where what's the best course you've ever played? And it's very hard to go past, you know, the Royal Melbournes, the Victorias, the Kingston Heaths, anything on the sand belt. And even up in Sydney, they've got great courses like the Australian and the Lakes and New South Wales Golf Club, which I rate as one of the best ones I've ever played on. It's, you know, we're very lucky to have, you know, the quality courses we've got here. And, and I think that's, you know, a good part of why, you know, the, the world's best golfers want to come down and play. Yeah, well, I think anybody in, in my age bracket would, uh, would look at Norman as, as being their idol. Um, you know, that's when he was at his peak is when I really started to, to get interested in golf. and. You know, to be able to sit there and watch him play and just to meet him. And I remember meeting him, must have been the, f yeah, it was just after my, f or during my first time of, of having cancer, I met him at Capital Golf Club. And, and I still look at that photo and with just me and Greg. And I think, you know, he was my idol and, and always will be. And I think the way Australian golf is now, it's got a lot to do with, with him. And, and I think, you know, having the academy set up in, in the States and, world-class teachers and all that kind of stuff. I think we're, we're heading the right direction. And, you know, just to see that, you know, two guys, two Aussie guys made the, the semi-finals of the US Amateur this year. It's, you know, it shows that it's filtering down and there's a lot of new blood, I guess you could call it, coming through. And, you know, I'm going to feel like a, a veteran getting back out there again. And, you know, I'm not going to say they could be my kids, but <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to feel like that. <laughs>